Hey, hi there Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and I'm thanking you for tuning into the energies and influences coming through for your weekend reading, April 5th to the 7th of 2019. This is a general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising and Cross Watchers energies are interchangeable. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Capricorn, I've done a protective blessing, and I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Queen of Swords, Capricorn. This is an air energy person. It could be a male or a female. A Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. This is an independent and mature person. And they have authority. They have a keen mind. They're strong-willed and they're able to cope with loss. This is someone that provides solutions, and with truth and honesty. They teach us to accept life as it is. They're great, they're great communicators and teachers. They're very professional. This is a person that has great clarity of thought. This could be pursuing your desires with strength and maturity. This is a person that treasures solitude, and they're able to overcome loneliness by doing independent projects that they love and they have a very sharp, keen mind. They're able to see justice and fairness. They may be overcritical of their own thoughts, but they do love to share their knowledge. They've known some loss or sorrow, and this experience has enhanced her wisdom. Your second card, and this is the energy crossing over your path. The Six of Pentacles, Capricorn, Earth Energy. This is harmony, and it represents the give and take of money, and others sharing it with you in a just way. You're in a balanced position concerning the income and the outflow of your money. It's good things coming to you and going out from you. This can be an approval of a loan, or a friend or family member may lend or give money to help out. But this is money owed will be paid, and prosperity should be shared with others. It's a win-win situation. There's giving and receiving. The needy is submissive and appreciative. And the giver is rewarding others and making donations, paying bills, even mentoring, giving of your time and companionship. This is financial flow and charity. It's assistance and giving back and advice not to be too proud to accept help from those who have more. This is the what goes around comes around card. And there's fairness here. And using your abundance to help others, and a feeling of relief after receiving assistance. It's karma, cause and effect. Your third card, and this is how it affects you, Capricorn. The Five of Swords. This is air energy. It has to do with your thoughts and your mind. This is advice not to judge everything, not to judge before you know everything. This is a person that has captured the swords of his adversaries and they depart in de dejection. There's storm clouds and wind. You may be the conqueror or the conquered. This can be advice to avoid battle that cannot be won. It would be an empty victory, a high cost to victory. There's a battle of wills. There's limitation and also power. The figure holding the sword represents the person, the enemy, or the situation. This can be a difficult card showing defeat and weakness. There's a need to avoid negative people and drama. This could be an attack on the resources. It might be something unfair. This is 
someone that's a master controller. They can bring destruction and dishonor and loss. It could be that you pay more than you actually get. So go slow or you'll deprave yourself from benefit. You see, the sword is double-edged. One edge is defeat and misfortune, betrayal and loss, and the other edge gives us advice to learn to accept the boundaries we must live within. Fives are about adjustment, and this is change brought on by distress or loss. It might be an uncomfortable but necessary change. You may be blinded by a situation, so wait to judge. There's not enough information. But now is the time for change. Maybe your lifestyle or your philosophy or your inner belief about yourself. You might have run into a challenge. And a better direction will make you happier. So change is needed to get back on track. So look for a better direction. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome. The results. And the advice. The Two of Swords, Capricorn. More air energy here. This is indecision and stalemate and a standstill. These are postponed decisions. Could be a stressful decision. You do need to seek more information. There's a stasis here. So look honestly at a change that needs to be made. Ask questions because you need more facts. And contemplate your options. This is putting off making a decision for now feeling uncertain. You may not wish to offend or hurt someone involved. You may need to withdraw to contemplate these options. So collect more facts that are needed to make the decision. You might be ignoring your emotions and using logic to deny how you are feeling. Or you may be denying the truth of something so you don't have to deal with it. But ignorance or denial can cause you to be stuck in a circular emotional pattern. This is a situation of great tension you're at a crossroads with another person, and neither wants to give in. So take the high road in this situation. You may not feel like confronting an issue at hand, because maybe it'll just go away. But with courage, a change can be made, and often good, comes out of what appears to be a bad situation. This is someone that might be frightened or unsure of which way to move, so they do nothing at all except trying to ignore it but you might need to listen to both sides of the story because you may learn a secret. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The page of cups, Capricorn. This is water energy. Could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This is successful manifestation and wishes. Pay attention to synchronicities and hunches and be insensitive. This can be a message or a communication about love or a message about an engagement or a wedding. But it does carry emotional risk and you'll find out where you stand and you feel things will work out just fine. This sometimes can indicate the birth of a child or psychic ability beginning to emerge. But these are thoughts and dreams of love and joy it's news of a new lover or a love that's soon coming. It's someone who is sensitive and helpful, and you're receiving new insights. So express your wishes and your fears clearly and directly. The fish is a symbol of creative imagination, and water represents the feelings and the unconscious mind. This is the birth of creative imagination and new life. If this is a young person, he is sensitive and kind-natured, they're the emotional type with strong artistic talents, and they're often psychic. They may be bringing you the news of a birth of a child, news of new feelings and attitudes. If you've been hurt or afraid to let go emotionally, this card can indicate the fragile new beginnings in learning and starting to trust again. Your advice from the Sacred Traveler deck, the Oracle card, by Denise Lynn. This is unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Even if you're not consciously aware of it, even if you don't have all the answers, keep going forward with your heart open. If you can't see clearly ahead and don't know where you're headed, keep moving forward. Do what feels right, even if your brain doesn't agree. 
your heart always knows. Instead of dismay because you're in unknown territory, celebrate that you're expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that sometimes a traveler feels lost, a lack of confidence or sense of being in the unknown territory. It can seem that others know more or more qualified. However, it can be this very feeling of not knowing that allows one to step outside the bounds of convention and reach beyond the perimeters of self that have been imposed by friends, family, society, and religion. It can be a very good thing, and it can help you find yourself. Cherish those moments of not knowing. It's often during those times that the greatest revelations occur. Trust that all is well, and you are where you should be. Here's your take note moment. We should all practice stilling our minds. Try and sit down each day and close your eyes and play, pay close attention to the thoughts. Do not resist these thoughts, and as you watch each thought, it will disappear. Command your mind to be still and have it obey your command. As you, as you practice, you will get better and better. Your mind will be still for longer and longer. This is the beginning to creating what you want. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.